Free yourselves. Take to the seas. My treasure is yours to find. Forget buried treasure and parrots. Dive into the true world of pirates. And what fate befalls mutineers? Now we know the answer to that. Do we not? Mutineers. <laughs> the ruthless and feared. These cutthroat commanders plundered ships, sowed terror. Tell the men to prepare to be boarded, to stand their ground and show no fear. And carved their names into maritime legend. Buckle up for a thrilling journey as we meet the 20 most notorious pirates who ever ruled the waves. Edward Lowe, an infamous pirate of the early 18th century, earned a chilling reputation as the most ruthless and feared buccaneer to ever sail the seas. Born into poverty in Westminster, London in 1690, Lowe's early life as a pickpocket and gambler foreshadowed his descent into piracy. Settling in Boston after a tumultuous journey, he experienced personal tragedy with the death of his wife and son. In just three years, Edward Lowe's pirate exploits included seizing and setting ablaze more than a hundred ships, establishing him as one of the most ruthless criminals of his era. Known for sadistic methods of torture, his brutality shocked even contemporaries. Collaborating with fellow pirate George Lowther, Lowe eventually captained his own ship, the Fancy, wreaking havoc on the seas with a crew that instilled terror in all who crossed their path. Edward Lowe's legacy remains synonymous with unparalleled ruthlessness in the annals of piracy. Bartholomew Roberts Born John Roberts, the 17th of May, 1682 to the 10th of February, 1722, stands as the most ruthless and feared pirate of the golden age of piracy, having captured over 470 ships during his infamous career. Renowned as the Great Pirate and Black Bart, he left an indelible mark on pirate lore. Originating from Kasnawid Bach, Wales, Roberts began his maritime journey in 1695, reappearing in history in 1718 as a mate on a Barbados sloop. Forced into piracy by Howell Davis, Roberts quickly embraced the lifestyle, showcasing exceptional navigation skills and adopting a bold philosophy. Elected captain after Davis's demise, Roberts avenged his predecessor's death and solidified his crew's loyalty with audacious exploits, earning a reputation as an unparalleled and formidable pirate captain. Francis Spriggs, an ominous British pirate active in the Caribbean and the Bay of Honduras in the early 1720s, emerges as the most ruthless and feared seafarer of his time. Initially serving as quartermaster for Edward Lowe, Spriggs took command of the captured 12-gun British man-of-war squirrel, later renamed Delight. His notorious career unfolded when a dispute with Lowe led to his desertion, marking the beginning of a reign of terror. Flying a black flag akin to Lowe's, Spriggs and his crew pillaged the West Indies, committing atrocities such as the sweats, a brutal form of torture. With a relentless pursuit of wealth, Spriggs captured numerous vessels, tortured prisoners, and eluded British warships, leaving an infamous legacy as one of history's most ruthless and feared pirates. The whereabouts of Spriggs remain shrouded in mystery, with reports suggesting his continued piracy activities as late as 1726. Francois Lolonnais, also known as the Bane of Spain, stands as the most ruthless and feared pirate ever to set sail in the Caribbean during the 1660s. Born Jean Davinau in Les Sables d'Olonne, France, around 1630, he arrived in the Caribbean as an indentured servant and transformed into a notorious buccaneer. Notorious for his brutality, Lolonnais survived a shipwreck, using the blood of the dead as a disguise. His reign of terror included sacking Maracaibo in 1666, capturing a Spanish treasure ship and mercilessly torturing victims. Infamous for slicing flesh, burning alive, and using brutal wolding techniques, Lolonnais struck fear into the hearts of his enemies. His expedition to Honduras culminated in cannibalistic acts, earning him the nickname Wolf of the Main. Captured and killed by the indigenous Kuna tribe in Darien, Panama, Lolonay met a gruesome end, torn limb from limb and consumed by fire. His legacy remains a haunting tale of ferocity and cruelty on the high seas. William Kidd, known as Captain Kidd, stands as a notorious and feared Scottish privateer of the 17th century. Born around 1654 in Dundee, Kidd later settled in New York City. By 1690, he emerged as a highly successful privateer commissioned to safeguard English interests in North America and the West Indies. In 1695, Kidd received a royal commission to hunt pirates and French ships in the Indian Ocean. Despite early success, including capturing the Quedog merchant in 1698, political tides turned against him. Accused of piracy, 
Kidd was arrested in Boston, tried in London, and ultimately hanged in 1701. His posthumous romanticization fueled pirate-themed fiction, and the legend of his buried treasure inspired treasure hunts for centuries. Despite his complex legacy, Kidd remains etched in maritime history as a ruthless and dreaded figure on the high seas. Anne Bonny, a formidable Irish pirate of the late 17th century, vanished after November 28, 1720, leaving a mysterious legacy as one of history's few female pirates. Born in Ireland, details of her early life are scant and primarily derived from Captain Charles Johnson's 1724 book, A General History of the Pirates. After marrying sailor James Bonney, she moved to the pirate haven of Nassau. There, she met and joined forces with the notorious Calico Jack Rackham, becoming both his lover and pirate partner. Captured in 1720 alongside Rackham and Mary Reed, Bonnie's fate remains unknown, shrouded in the mystery of her disappearance. Despite the uncertainty, her daring exploits, fiery temperament, and defiance against societal norms have immortalized her as a ruthless and feared pirate of the Caribbean. Henry Morgan Born around 1635 in Wales, evolved into the most ruthless and feared pirate to ever set sail. As a Welsh privateer, plantation owner, and later Jamaica's lieutenant governor, Morgan amassed wealth raiding Spanish settlements and shipping from his base in Port Royal. Little is known of his early life, but he likely joined privateer raids during the Anglo-Spanish War. Given a letter of mark by Governor Thomas Modiford, Morgan conducted lucrative raids on Spanish territories, including Puerto del Principe and Porto Bello. Despite accusations of torture by Alexandra Esquemelin, Morgan's successes led to a knighthood in 1674 and a role as Jamaica's lieutenant governor. Though tarnished by accusations, Morgan's legacy inspired pirate-themed fiction, cementing his place as a legendary figure in history. Benjamin Hornigold A British pirate notorious in the Caribbean and North Atlantic from 1716 to 1717 emerges as one of the most ruthless and feared pirates of his time. Renowned for mentoring Blackbeard, Edward Teach, Hornigold's infamy lies in his transition from piracy to aiding the governor of the Bahamas in hunting down fellow pirates. The infamous pirate haven, New Providence Island, served as Hornigold's base from 1713 to 1716, where he reveled in the debauchery of pirate life. Promoting Edward Teach to captain in September 1717, Hornigold and Blackbeard conducted successful joint raids, plundering ships across the Caribbean and North America. Their partnership ended amicably, with Blackbeard pursuing a notorious solo career. Hornigold's legacy, documented in pirate histories, paints him as a ruthless figure in the golden age of piracy. Blackbeard Widely known as Blackbeard, c. 1680 to the 22nd of November 1718, stands as the epitome of ruthlessness and fear in the annals of piracy. Operating in the West Indies and along the eastern coast of Britain's North American colonies, Blackbeard's early life remains shrouded in mystery. Joining Captain Benjamin Hornigold's crew around 1716, Teach swiftly rose to infamy, capturing vessels and building a formidable reputation. His association with Hornigold culminated in seizing a French slave ship, La Concorde, transforming it into the menacing Queen Anne's Revenge armed with 40 cannons. Blackbeard, famed for his fearsome black beard and menacing demeanor, terrorized the seas, blockading ports, and orchestrating audacious raids. Despite a royal pardon, he met his demise in a fierce battle led by Lieutenant Robert Maynard on the 22nd of November 1718, immortalizing Blackbeard as a cunning and fearsome pirate leader in fiction and history alike. Calico Jack Famously known as Calico Jack, hanged on the 18th of November 1720, emerges as a paragon of ruthlessness and dread among pirates of the early 18th century. Operating in the Bahamas and Cuba during the waning years, 1718 to 1720, of the golden age of piracy, Rackham's notoriety peaked when he ousted Charles Vane as captain, leading him to capture the Kingston and plunder the West Indies. Accepting the king's pardon in 1719, he briefly turned legitimate but swiftly returned to piracy, stealing a British sloop and recruiting Anne Bonny and Mary Red into his crew. Rackham's audacious exploits met their end in 1720 when captured by Jonathan Barnett, leading to a trial and eventual hanging in Port Royal, Jamaica. His legacy, immortalized by Captain Charles Johnson, depicts a pirate captain who, despite intermittent pardons, embraced a life of plunder and infamy. Ching Shi, also known as Zheng Yi Sao, 1775 to 1844, emerged as the epitome of ruthlessness and terror among pirates who roamed the South China Sea from 1801 to 1810. Born as Shi Yang in humble circumstances around Xinhui, Guangdong in 1775, she married the pirate Zheng Yi in 1801, earning the moniker Zheng Yi Sao, 
wife of Zheng Yi. Following her husband's death in 1807, Qing Shi seized control of his pirate confederation, leading a formidable fleet of 400 junks and 40,000 to 60,000 pirates, challenging powers like the East India Company and the Portuguese Empire. Notorious for her cunning leadership, she negotiated surrender to the Qing authorities in 1810, maintaining a substantial fleet. Qing Shi, often hailed as history's most successful female pirate, lived a relatively peaceful and prosperous life until her death in 1844 at the age of approximately 68. Henry Avery, known as Henry Avery, the 20th of August 1659 to disappeared, June 1696, stands as the paragon of ruthlessness and fear among pirates who roamed the Atlantic and Indian Oceans in the mid-1690s. Operating under various aliases, including Benjamin Bridgman, Every earned the moniker the Arch Pirate and the King of Pirates. Notoriously elusive, he escaped capture and death after executing what's deemed the most lucrative act of piracy in history. Henry's audacious raid on a grand muggle convoy in 1695, amassing 600,000 pounds in treasures, strained England's relations with the muggles, prompting a worldwide manhunt. Despite the capture of some crew members, Henry mysteriously vanished in 1696, and conflicting accounts speculate on his retirement or lavish spending. His death, presumed between 1699 and 1714, remains unconfirmed and his treasure unrecovered. Henry's early life includes a controversial involvement in the Royal Navy and the Atlantic slave trade, displaying cunning and devious tactics that marked his infamous legacy. A Wilda Pirate, renowned as the most ruthless and feared pirate to ever set sail, is a legendary female pirate whose story, while doubted by historical scholars, has left an indelible mark. Born to a 5th century Scandinavian king, Awilda vehemently rejected an arranged marriage to Denmark's crown prince, Alf. Defying societal norms, she and her female comrades disguised themselves as sailors and commandeered a ship, encountering a pirate crew seeking a new captain. Elected as their leader, Awilda's audacity caught the attention of Prince Alf, who engaged her in a fierce battle. Impressed by his valor, Awilda disclosed her identity, leading to an unexpected romance. Their marriage marked the union of two powerful figures, reigning as the feared king and queen of Denmark. The legend of Awilda has transcended time, inspiring works like Torquato Tasso's tragedy, Rey Torres Mondo, adding a mythical aura to her legacy. Stad Bonnet, the most ruthless and feared pirate to ever set sail, born in 1688 in Barbados, defied his affluent upbringing, earning the moniker Gentleman Pirate. In 1717, this Barbadian aristocrat turned pirate without sailing knowledge, commissioned the Revenge, a sloop armed with ten guns. Bonnet, driven by marital discontent or a yearning for adventure, amassed a crew of over 70 men, paying them wages rather than the typical plunder shares. His piratical exploits began along Virginia's coast, plundering vessels and burning a ship to conceal his crimes. Venturing to New York and the Carolinas, Bonnet's audacious raids continued, culminating in a rendezvous with Blackbeard. Eventually captured by Colonel William Rhett, Bonnet faced trial, leading to his hanging in Charlestown on December 10, 1718, marking the end of the notorious gentleman pirate. Mary Red, the most ruthless and feared pirate to ever set sail, embraced a life of infamy during the 18th century Golden Age of Piracy. Born between 1680 and 1693 in England, Red defied societal norms by dressing as a boy, initially for inheritance and later to join the British military. After marriage, widowhood, and a stint as an innkeeper, she found herself in the West Indies. Joining pirates after her ship was captured, Reed thrived in the male-dominated world. Briefly pardoned, she resumed piracy, joining forces with John, Calico Jack, Rackham, and Anne Bonny. The trio's capture led to their trial for piracy, with Reed and Bonnie pleading pregnancy to delay execution. Reed died in prison in April 1721, marking the end of a ruthless era. Jean Lafitte dominated the early 19th century Gulf of Mexico. Around 1780, Jean Lafitte, born in Biarritz or Saint-Domingue, and his brother Pierre, alternatively spelled Lafitte, flourished in the world of piracy. Operating from a New Orleans warehouse, they later moved to Barataria Bay, Louisiana, building a prosperous smuggling and pirate haven by 1810. Despite the U.S. naval invasion in 1814, Lafitte aided General Andrew Jackson during the Battle of New Orleans in 1815. Post-war, the Lafittes assisted the Spanish in the Mexican War of Independence, and Jean founded the Campeche colony on Galveston Island in 1817. The mystery surrounding Lafitte's life and death persists, with unverified tales, including the rumored rescue of Napoleon Bonaparte, adding to his enigmatic legacy. Thomas II Known as the Rhode Island Pirate, met a gruesome end in September 1695, 
solidifying his legacy as the most ruthless and feared pirate to ever set sail. His origins remain unclear, possibly born in New England or Maidford, Northamptonshire. Two thrived as a pirate, initiating the infamous Pirate Round Route. In 1692, he turned to piracy, garnering crew support for his illegal ventures. Two's audacious raid in the Red Sea amassed a staggering 100,000 pounds in treasure. Returning to Newport in 1694, he befriended Governor Benjamin Fletcher. A second pirate cruise in 1695 saw two join forces with notorious pirates, including Henry Avery. Tragically, Two's demise came in a battle against a muggle convoy, disemboweled by a cannon shot. His legacy endures, influencing pirate lore and the mysterious pirate colony of Libertatia. Howell Davis The formidable Welsh pirate carved a notorious legacy in his brief 11-month piratical spree, earning the title of the most ruthless and feared pirate to ever set sail. Born in Milford Haven, Wales in 1690, Davis commenced his piratical journey in July 1718 when he took command of the Cadogan after a mutiny. His exploits included capturing 15 English and French ships, with notable vessels like the Cadogan, Buck, St. James, and Rover under his control. A master of trickery and deception, Davis hoodwinked the Royal African Company, securing a 2,000 pounds ransom. He outsmarted the French by flying a black pirate flag from a seemingly formidable but lightly armed ship. Despite his cunning, Davis met his demise in an ambush on Princip on June 19, 1719. His captivating character is commemorated in various works of fiction, including R.L. Jean's The Noble Pirates and Ubisoft's game Assassin's Creed IV Black Flag. William Fly The notorious English pirate earned the grim distinction of the most ruthless and feared pirate to ever set sail. His menacing piracy spanned merely three months in 1726, terrorizing New England's shipping fleets until his capture by a commandeered vessel's crew. Executed in Boston, Massachusetts, Fly's demise marked a symbolic end to the golden age of piracy. Embarking on his pirate career in April 1726, Fly mutinied against Captain John Green aboard the Elizabeth, seizing command and renaming the ship Fames' Revenge. Sailing along the North Carolina and New England coasts, they captured five ships before their own capture. Despite Cotton Mather's unsuccessful attempts to elicit public repentance, Fly and his crew faced the gallows on the 12th of July, 1726. In a brazen display, Fly reproached the hangman, emphasizing fair treatment for sailors, leaving an indelible warning against turning to piracy. His gibbeted body on Nix's Mate Island served as a stark deterrent. Charles Vane, a menacing figure who haunted the Bahamas during the twilight of the golden age of piracy. Born around 1680 in England, Vane's early piracy saw him collaborate with Henry Jennings before seizing command of his own vessels in 1717. A leader in the Republic of Pirates, Vane's defiance of the offered king's pardon marked him as a resolute pirate. Despite a brief capture, he quickly returned to piracy, displaying unparalleled cruelty by torturing captured sailors. Vane's audacious tactics, including turning a French ship into a fire ship, showcased his relentless spirit. Evading Woods Rogers, he continued raiding ships, but faced internal strife and eventually lost command. Marooned after a hurricane, he unsuccessfully concealed his identity upon rescue, leading to imprisonment and trial. On the 29th of March, 1721, Charles Vane met his end at Gallows Point in Port Royal, his body left in chains at Gun Cay, signifying the demise of a notorious pirate era. As we wrap up our voyage through history's most ruthless pirates, it's clear that these swashbucklers left an indelible mark on the high seas. Remember, even in today's world, we're not sailing through choppy waters unless we forget to lock our doors. Don't miss out. Subscribe for more thrilling adventures.